Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And um, in today's video, I am doing a video about sea cadets. Um, so basically, I made two other videos about sea cadets. I have not posted either of them because they're really, really bad. Um, but um, today I'm making a video about sea cadets and <laughs> I said that so much. Um, but basically what I'm gonna be doing is tomorrow I'm leaving for ranger camp and I'm just going to make a video showing you how I'm packing, like what's in my sea bag, basically just like how I'm packing for it. And it's also gonna be a tutorial on like how to like fold your clothes, like so how to fold your PT uniform and your undershirts, your blouse, your trousers, all that stuff. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have you sitting right here on like the floor here's my sea bag um so yeah so basically first i'm gonna start off by showing you how to fold your nwu type 3 blouse so or or your type 1 blouse okay the blueberries but so yeah so i don't have anybody to film or a tripod so i'm gonna be doing this filming by myself so it might be a little hard and it might not look as good but it's kind of I just gotta work with what I got so yeah um so yeah anyways let's go okay so basically what you're gonna start with doing is make sure everything's just nice and straight and aligned and not like bumpy or anything anywhere so once you have that what you're going to do is you're going to take either sleeve and you're just going to fold it in all the way like that and then make sure it's nice and straight and like that just keep it nice and straight and folded and nice and neat make sure it's straight right here so yeah and then you're going to do what's called a batman fold and you're going to take this right here and you're gonna fold it like that. And then you're just gonna make sure it's all nice and straight and aligned, like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Just gonna bring it over like so. Make sure it's nice and straight and aligned and stuff. And then do your Batman fold. So yeah, make sure it's nice and straight and mine's not so i'm gonna fix that really quick now once you have that you're going to just take this and fold it over all the way and it's not gonna look as it's not gonna look as bad as this like mine does not look pretty while i fold it because i'm doing it by myself so if it comes out bad i'll just refold it after this video so yeah so basically just gotta make sure it's nice and folded co correctly and then you're going to just like basically just fold it once and fold it twice and yeah that's that's it it's just gonna make this little square shape and yep that's it now I'm going to show you how to fold the type 3 blouses, uh, trousers, blousers, trousers. Yeah, so basically what you can do is you can take your left pant leg and you're just going to fold it over onto the right one. Make sure it's not, doesn't have any bunchy areas. Make sure it's just nice and like neat and straight all the way down. Okay, so yeah, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and fold it all the way up and then put your your hand or your finger wherever that fold made, wherever that fold is made. So basically my finger is right here. I made a little marker right there where it was and you're going to take the bottom pant leg and pull it up, fold it up to where that fold was and just make sure it's nice all straight and glamorous and then just fold that over 
and then take the crotch area and like fold it in to have this cover it like that so that it's nice and square then you're just gonna do that once more one more time and it should make like kind of a square it might not be perfect but yeah so basically and then you should this is what it should look like you should have a pizza slice or some people say a sun a sun a pizza slice whatever you want to call it but i say a pizza slice and a house right here so basically a sun and a house that's what you know you folded it right and then if you come over here you should have the back pocket the back right pocket so yeah okay i am now gonna show you how to fold the pt shirt or like the undershirt or just any like t-shirt like how to burrito roll it so basically some people will say like you just like roll it some people say burrito roll i say burrito roll because that's what i learned and so basically what you can do is you're going to take the bottom of it of the shirt and you're going to fold it up about two inches just it doesn't have to be perfectly two inches just a good amount of room is what you want and make sure it's like the same on the back and not like weird or anything and then you're gonna take this like the sleeve and you're gonna fold it to the collar make sure it's nice and straight and stuff then once you get it to the collar you're gonna take the sleeve part and just fold it to the edge like that like just fold it to the edge make sure kind of like another batman fold but like just fold it to the edge however you want and so or not like however you want but you know what i mean and then you're going to take the other side and do the exact same thing. Just like so. Then you're going to take the top, the, the shirt, and take the top of it. And that's where you're going to start your roll. So you're just going to make a tight roll. Make sure keeping it all nice and straight and stuff and not bunchy. And you're just going to roll and roll it roll it roll it now once it's all rolled up you're gonna take this part right here where you had the fold and you're gonna put your hand in and you're gonna wrap it around the t-shirt wrap it around the t-shirt just to keep this nice secure hold on it and so here's your little burrito. And once you're done, here's how to test if you folded it nice and tight. You're gonna take it and you're gonna throw it against the wall. And if it doesn't fall apart, you did it right. If it does, then well, try again. And the nice thing about this is, well, in my case for Ranger weekend, but for some people like when you're going to RT or any trainings and you need your PT uniform, well, yeah, just when you need your PT uniform, it's way easy to just put your hand in here and just right there, ready for you to use. So, yeah. Okay, so now that you have your undershirts, well, cause basically, so now that you have your PT shirts and undershirts folded because these can be folded the same way and your t blouse and tr um, trousers folded, now it's time to get onto the PT shorts. So I have some PT shorts here. And on mine don't say US S US N S C C on them. That's because I got these from Amazon. And they're just plain navy blue. And you just That's it. You just kinda just fold it like regular shorts. Now I do have I have one pair of US N S C C P T shorts that I was um issued when I first started. And then I have a pair that I bought off Amazon when I first went to like summer trainings. So yeah, boom. Now mind you, I'm not packing for RT because if I was, I'd be packing a lot more stuff. This is just for Ranger weekend. So yeah. Anyways, so next we have, um, don't forget your cover. Definitely do not forget your cover. You do not want to forget your cover. That would be very bad. So packing that. And don't forget your belt. Don't forget your belt. Your belt is very important. It's very important, especially to me, 
is my pants are too big around the waist. So if I don't have my belt, mm, they're gonna fall down. So yeah, belt. You also are gonna need a pair of white socks for PT, folded up just like this and a pair of black socks for your type threes. And most people should know how to fold them, fold the socks, but just in case you're new to see cadets and don't know how, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it out on the floor. Then you're gonna take your other sock, you're gonna lay it out right on top of it. You're gonna go to like the toe part and you're just going to roll it up, roll it up, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then you're going to take the outside sock and you're going to fold it over the pair of socks. So just fold it over and fix it right here. And you're done. So basically to know you did it right, you should have a little opening right here and a smiley face right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, so next thing you're gonna want is a towel and a washcloth, a hand cloth for um, showering, duh. I have to sneeze. It's not coming out though. Anyway, so yeah, towels. Next thing on the list is shoes. First, boots. Boots for your type three, type days. And they have to be shiny they have to be shiny i'm just going to ranger weekend and i just got these boots so they haven't been the shiniest they look shiny in the camera but they actually aren't that shiny so they're a little bit shiny but not really and so basically they have to be shiny boots shiny 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 boots um it's worth it to shine them it's really boring and you're gonna hate it in the process but you need to shine your boots or else they're probably just gonna be like hey, you need to shine your boots like they're gonna yell at you and make you shine your boots and they're gonna make you do like push-ups if you don't you shine your boots so shine your boots boots for your type threes that's what you need then the next shoes are tennis shoes for pt make sure to not forget these you do not want to do pt for two weeks straight in boots now i'm not going to rt right now i'm not packing for that but I am packing for Ranger Weekend and we need our shoes. So tennis shoes, don't forget. Next, shower shoes. I'm just going to Ranger Weekend, like I said, again. And so I am just bringing Crocs, but on my packing list, on my packing list for my summer training, it says I have to have Um, what does it say I need to have? Huh. It says you need to have... A pair of non-slip black shower shoes. So they have to be black flip-flops, it says. So, since I'm just going to Ranger Weekend, I'm bringing my yellow Crocs, but for RT or whatever summer training you're going to, depending on what they have on the packing list, bring like black flip-flops for the shower. So yeah. And uh, let's see, next thing. Okay, um, notebook and pen. I don't know if we'll be taking notes at Ranger Weekend. I'm not sure, but I'm bringing it because it's a part of the uniform. If you don't have this, you're out of uniform. You need your notebook and pen. So I'll have to put that in my boss tomorrow but it didn't fit in my blouse while I was like folding. Next, my squadron, we were, when we were learning about pace counts and sh um, shooting Aspens with, um, with compasses, we made Ranger beads and we made our own pair. I mean, I have no idea if your squadron has these or if this is anything we all have, but I always just keep my Ranger beads with me at all times. One of the most important things. This little bunny right here, your ID? Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. You want it. You need it. 
It is required if you do not show up to RT with this. Um, I'll be praying for you, but you need this little thingy. Need this little thingy with your little face on it, your your name, your rank, cadet, your na name, cup, all that stuff. You need it. It's required. Take it. Take it. Bye. Okay, so the next thing we have is um toiletries. So on uh, my toiletries bag right here. Um and it has toothbrush and toothpaste. Shampoo and conditioner, it's like a mix. Um, hair ties and like a scrunchie in here. Hair brush, hair gel, more hair gel, scalp scrubber thingy to like scrub in like the shampoo and stuff so that like gets all your dandruff out. A little pick thing that goes like in between my braces. Um, and an inhaler. So yeah, that's all that's in my toilet cheese bag. And just, just kind of gonna put it back up. Put it back up. There we go. And yeah, that's what I'm bringing to the weekend. And yeah, and then um, getting close to the end. Well, not really, because we still have to pack it all. But then we have our undergarments, like underwear, bras, socks, whatever you, undergarments you need and stuff for your trip or whatever. And last thing, a sleeping bag. Now, when you're going to like a summer training or like RT or something, um, they're usually going to tell you to bring like sheets for a twin bed. But we're just going to arrange a weekend. And on our packing list, it said to bring a pillow and a sleeping bag so here's my sleeping bag let me go grab my pillow that was my sleeping bag and here's my pillow so yeah so next thing that we have to do, have to do is now that we have everything it's time to pack the actual sea bag so it's currently thursday and we're leaving on a friday so I'm getting picked up early from school and I'll have to be able to change super quick. So usually you'd put your boots and stuff at the bottom, but I'm putting that stuff at the top so I can just grab it out and change really quick for my school clothes. So basically I'm just gonna take this and fold it down a bunch of, I'm not even fold it anymore, it's just kind of rolling it down. So yeah, just roll it down, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, so basically at this point, I don't need you to like copy whatever I do, just kind of watch along and see what I do. So I'm gonna put my tennis shoes at the bottom, or yeah, I'm gonna put my tennis shoes at the bottom. And then the next thing is my Crocs for like my shower shoes. And then I'm gonna put in my um, towel and washcloth. Next. Now for the Hello. Okay, and sleeping bag. Okay. Now you do. Now I'm putting in my toiletries. Undergarments. Then we're going to put in P 
PT shorts, PT shirts, socks, undershirts, blouse and trousers, belt, cover, boots, And my CEO asked me to bring a kickball for us to play with. So in my case, I'm adding a kickball to my sea bag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> and then we have ID, notebook, Ranger beads and pen, which I'm just gonna stick in my boots so that I don't like lose any of it. Bam. And then, yeah, so that's it. And now, once you have it all in there, you can take this little piece and you're bring it over across to this little hole, put it through, then put it through the side one. Oops. Yeah. Take this out. It's not gonna fit. Side one. Other side one. And then your carabiner clip. And that's it. That's everything I put in my sea bag for Ranger Weekend. Now, we're just going to take this and my kickball out to the car and and base just get ready for tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button and notifications bell and whatever button you have to push to just support me. Um, and thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day, great week, great month, great life. See ya!